Hey guys, welcome to another episode of It's Gaming Fancy. This is Soarmaster and I'm here to give you a guide on the infamous Paper Trail DLC. Um, there's going to be points in this guide where I'm going to give you a little pause option. And that's just so that you can see if you can figure it out on your own. Uh, other than that, this is going to give you basically everything you need. I'm not going to go through the extra stuff. You can. There's a lot of stuff that you unlock while playing the game and going through the um, website uh, and that stuff you can just look up on your own you can learn a little bit more about the stories I'm just gonna give you everything that you need to finish the, the, the DLC so click on any of these links to go to either parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6 and uh, we'll get started I hope this helps and uh, yeah enjoy so this is part two. Um, you're gonna start off here, and you're gonna see some bodies on the ground, because the bodies hit the floor. And by bodies, I mean one body. Uh, you go down there, and I'm gonna take a little bit of video power right here, and you start taking pictures again, because this guy is a necrophiliac. Um, again, not very good with the cameras. So, forgive me on this one, but I uh, take a picture of the body bag, then you go ahead and go to the um, little eye the numbers, they're basically little bits of evidence, and you take a picture of each of those. Uh, the important ones being the little lock and the phone that are on the top. Uh, those will be in a minigame later on in the on the website which is where we're going to be going uh, I'm going to kind of deal with these assholes over here again this is why I like to do this on the um, on this playthrough where I didn't clear everybody out just because there's a lot more chances of running into fights and it's not as just you know fetch quest fetch quest kind of thing you, you kind of just get to play around a little bit so uh, again your choice totally on that but this, it makes it a little bit more fun and once you collect everything it'll let you know that you you can go ahead and go back to the website so let's uh let's do that now All right. on to the website I hit a little refresh here and there we go we got more things to do you can check all the things on there all you need to do is go to the dove and it'll give you the first of many 11 digit numbers which is right there and um, that number is going to be put into the DUP database so you see the website up there you can just go to the website or you can go to um, the DUP internet thing down there I'm going to do a separate tab for the, the phone that we found so that's going to be important later. You have to find a way to unlock it. And make another tab for the DUP website down here. When you go in there, log in. And uh, you can put in the number that you have on there. Mine's already in the quick thing. You put that in and you'll find a file. And this is what you're going to be doing this a lot in this game. Just going to files on the DUP website and finding more and more numbers as you go through. Um, in here you'll find the uh, the number on the bottom. So let me scroll down a little bit. Little uh, little dove there. Find them everywhere. And oh, what's this? Is a puzzle. So if you want to figure it out, pause it here. And uh, if not, well, let's let's keep going. So you line them up in order of the dots, and whatever number circled, you use those. You put it in here, you get an 11-digit number, which is another DUP file. You go in here, and it's another file to look at. You go down a little bit, and it tells you how to solve the, the lock on the phone. So basically, whatever number you get, it says you go up 3 and um, it circles from 0 to 9 so 
the next number up from 9 is 0, after that it's 1. So you go into here, and it's going to be random what number you have on the right, and if you do, if you take too long, then it's going to change. So 5 plus 3 is 8, 0 plus 3 is 3, so on and so forth until you finish it. And bam, we go back to the, uh, back to the game. As you can see on here, all that's solved, and it tells you to go. And uh, in the game, uh, we get to find Linda Crowley. So, hopefully, she's not dead too, like everybody else has been so far. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, of the video power, m much more than just the flying. The flying's fun, but it's kind of weak. The uh, the little special attack is kind of cool, but I, I prefer the the neon and the um, the stone power is pretty cool too. So you take a picture of these three, and the you go pick up the I guess it's a wallet. And it's going to tell you, hey, let's go back to your profile. So we go back online. Hit a refresh. And uh, here we go. We got some pictures. And we got a date book, which is not a wallet, it's a date book. It's a notebook. And um, you go into here, you see a little bit more about her. And uh, you see that she has a website. So. Why don't we check the website out? Alright, in here you'll see a very edited website. And um, there's a couple of little clues in here, but this is what you really need to do. So, if you want to figure out how to do that. If not, I'll go ahead and tell you. What you want to do is you look through here and you'll see like numbers in instead of letters. And in the order that the numbers come up, that's that's the order that you want to put the numbers down. So as you see over here, the one, the next one is four, and go on, so on and so forth. Um, you go into the DUP database and you type in the numbers in the order that they came in, and you got yourself another file to look at. Um, here, you kind of want to look at the couple things. There's the there's two clues in here. I'll see if you can figure it out. If not, here we go. Today, after months of speculation, uh, she says judge the name Paulson of the judge in this case video, the and on the top Kirk you see the case Giving number. Brooke Those Augustine are the two things the Department that you need. Protection, clear so to once you have that information, you go back to the website here, put the judge's name in here, so, yep, Judge Paulson, and then you put the case number down there. And when you hit submit, Bam. You go back to the game. So let's go back to the game. Another mailbox. Post office box. Whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, see the neon is so good for getting across. It's just, there's nothing that can be in your way. Uh, go into Eugene's place and you're looking for the judge. You can look around if you want. There's really nothing to see here. Uh, just go straight and the judge is unfortunately another corpse. So what do we do? We we'll take a picture, of course. We'll take a picture of all the dead bodies in this game. Take a picture of him, take a picture of the file here, and we grab the file. Gotta be a clue in this. And as we near the end, nothing can be better than Whoa! This bitch. She drops a little origami dove, and that's the end of this. Alright, okay. I hope this helped. Uh, any questions, just let me know. Click on any of these to go to the, those parts. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, stay fancy.